What is up, my deep quarters? I am your second host, the Worm of Fire, here today with the Bagel Master. Say hello. Hello. And today we're going to be going over the the votes that are going on for the maps, the skins, uh, or the new animals, actually, not just the skins, and some other details as well. Bagel, explain a few of those. So in Deep Chord, there's been a few votes going on. One of them was for the new maps, which we're not going to be covering this video because it would be way too long. We've already got a lot of content we've got to cover. Another one of the votes that we're going to cover today is the new animals. We've already picked which new animals are going to go into the game, and I really think you guys are going to find them pretty interesting. So here goes. That's right. So in Deep Chord, there is, let's say, about 15 tier 10s to vote from. Now, I will tell you all that the voting has concluded at this point, but the vote options were Alligator, Amazon River Dolphin, Our Empire, Ma, oh, I'm going to get roasted in the comments for this, Gariel, Giant Catfish, Giant Freshwater Stingray, Giant River Otter, Goliath Tigerfish, Jaguar, Komodo Dragon, Moose, Paddlefish, Shoebill Stork, Swan, and Sturgeon. Looks like option three, the Arampaya, and option E, the Sturgeon, are both very popular picks. Uh, and I'm also seeing five and uh, six, which is the uh, Giant Catfish and the Giant Freshwater Stingray. Those are all very popular options, all over 100 votes so far. Uh, and by the time this has concluded as well, it will be. Let's also talk about the Tier 9s. So, Although before we get to the Tier 9s, please do note that there are going to be three new Tier 10s added. There's going to be one Tier 9, one Tier 8, two lower tiers, which is Tiers 7 all the way down to 1. And then there's going to be one Swamp AI animal and one rework of an already existing Swamp animal. So those are the ones you can expect to see. We're not going to be getting a crazy amount of new animals being added. But it is a significant amount. Yes, let's talk about the tier 9s. So the first option for this vote was the Abba Abba. Second one is the Arowana. Then the Kaiman. It's pronounced Kaiman. Kaiman. The Giant River Otter. Have I seen that somewhere before? Oh, I have. It's in the tier 10 option, too. <laughs> yeah, if it had actually gotten added as both a tier 9 and tier 10, if it had been voted in both, it would have been a legitimate issue because, you know, you can't have two of the same animal in different tiers. So I am very glad that it did end up being voted in for both tiers. You know... It looks like it's within the top three, though, for the tier nines. It's it's the third one uh, following the snakehead, but we'll get down to that list. So, yep, Giant River Otter, we talked about that. The Giant Tasmanian Crayfish, that's a new one. Golden Dorado, Lungfish, Monitor Lizard, the Northern Pike, the Paddlefish, the Payara, the Snakehead, and the Taper. Wow, that doesn't look like it's spelt Taper. Alrighty, and now we're going to move on to the tier eights. So, the Arowana has shown up here as well. <gasps> and if you could believe it, the Capybara, of all things, is on this list as well. And it is definitely the highest voted option in this whole list. Wow, 188. Oh yeah, we're again Capybaras in this game. Next we got the Carp, the Knifefish, the Largemouth Bass, the Loon, the Lungfish, and the Payara. It's not even worth mentioning those, because we already know the Capybara is getting in. Yeah, so let's talk about all the low tiers that are going to be added. So for tier 7, we're considering the Bass, the Cormorant, the Cormorant, I think that's how you say it, the Fishing Cat, the Platypus, Swamp Monkey, and then for tier 6 animals, where there's only one, it's the Carp. That's something we're considering. For tier 5, we're considering the Basilisk, the Elephant Nose Fish, the koi, the pond turtle, the river chub. <laughs> a river chub. That is an interesting name. Uh, tilapia. Yapak. Giant water bug. Mud skipper. Diving bell spider. And fiddler crab. I'm sure people are going to roast me over how I'm mispronouncing these, but I'm I'm ready for it. 
Uh, looks like the ones that is winning right now is number four, which is the platypus. I'm not too surprised about that. The next one on the list is uh, Fiddler Crab. That's the second one that's in the in the race right now. And then the third one, I think it's the koi. Am I correct on that? That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes, you are correct. All right. Yes. So the AIs. So the AI vote includes the blue kill, the diving beetle, the guppy, the minnow, the mosquito, the snail, the tadpole, the tetra, the water strider, and the whip spider. Those are all 10 options that we have here. And looks like the 10th option, the whip spider, is the most likely AI animal to be added. There's actually been a lot of controversy regarding the whip spider because a lot of people just wanted a normal fish AI like the minnow or guppy or something like that because, well, they make gameplay more fun, they add more food sources, and it just adds a lot of activity to the swamp, whereas the whip spider would probably be only on one or two islands and it wouldn't exactly add more, it'd be more of a gimmick. And so there's been a lot of disagreement about that. I personally don't like the Whip Spider. Um, and I know several other people who don't, but there's a lot of people who enjoy the Whip Spider. And they seem to think it's a pretty cool concept. See, I mean, it just depends how the Whip Spider is implemented. Hopefully the Whip Spider will be able to liven up the swamp. And it does look like it is going to be getting in. So we'll just have to see how it's implemented before we can really tell. But let's move on to the rework votes. So this is very one-sided. It's between the giant soft-shell soft -shell turtle and the hippo. And the hippo is winning by almost 200 votes ahead of the giant soft-shell turtle. So we know that's going to be the main one to begin a rework here. So now the voting has finished. There is no more voting for which animals are going to get in. The final results are, for the rework, Hippo. Everyone kind of saw that coming. GST didn't really stand a chance. For the AI, the Whip Spider was added. For the low tiers, it was the Platypus as a tier 5, which was re-tiered after a Crabnet revote. And the Fiddler Crab as a tier 3. The tier 8 was Capybara. Everyone saw that. Tier 9 is the Lungfish. And then for the three tier tens, it is the giant catfish, the arapaima, and the giant freshwater stingray. And now that those are done voting on, we are now in the cabinet voting on the concepts for these animals. So we've already decided on which animals are getting in. Now we've got to determine how they're going to play. And we're going to pick the best concepts that are available. Next video, we're going to continue in a part two to tell you about all the new map votes. So for the 1v1s, the Pearl Defense, and the free-for-all and team free-for-all maps, which ones are getting added. And we're also going to cover the reskins. And depending on if the new concepts are out, we'll talk about those and discuss those. Fair V Whale. <laughs>